Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys how I cut soda and pop and carbonated beverages out of my diet. So, um, I mentioned it in a video um, a while ago that I don't really drink pop, like I don't like pop. And um, I got a lot of messages saying, oh my god, you know, I've been trying to... Um, stop drinking pop and I'm trying to you know just drink water and I'm trying to be healthy and like everything like that so um, basically I'm gonna be telling you what I've done and what tricks that I use to kind of like not even tempt myself to drink it um, so I'm just gonna start with like a little backstory um, I used to drink pop a lot coca-cola and Pepsi and ginger ale like I still when I'm sick um, and puking my mom still gives me like a ginger ale um, but I won't drink it like I'll have a little bit of it but I won't drink the whole thing does that make sense yeah anyway um, basically I used to drink it a lot my dad loves coca-cola like he loves it um, he has cases of, cases and cases of it in his fridge you know uh, with Sprite and Mountain Dew and you know just soda in general so um, I got to the point where I was like feeling really disgusting and like I wanted to do something about the way I was eating and my diet and you know my exercise routine and stuff like that so basically one day um, I just I got a craving to have a can of Coke. So I got a bottle of water and I just downed it. I downed it. Um, I was thirsty and I was just, I saw a bottle of water in the fridge and I just like, I absolutely like chugged the whole thing. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not thirsty anymore. So I didn't have a can of Coke. Um, so basically every time I went to the fridge and I was thirsty and I saw this like case of like Coca-Cola in there. I just like grabbed a bottle of water or grabbed a glass of ice water like my one my little tumbler and I love it um and I just drank the whole thing like I I downed the glass of water and I just didn't have the craving to have pop anymore um it was surprisingly easy um but at the same time you know if I did that and I still wanted to have a can of coke you know I'd still have it um, I would put it in a glass though and I'd only have half of it at a time. Um, I usually like split a glass with my dad sometimes. So um, I went from like just downing glasses of water and then not having to have the craving to yeah I'll have a half a glass or you know a little sip or here and there. Um, my boyfriend, I love you to death babe, but he drinks pop a lot. Like pop and juice, doesn't like water and I don't know why babe gotta start drinking more water anyway um he'll have like pop and juice a lot so this time I was like basically like choking on my own spit or something and like I took a sip of the sprite that was sitting there and oh my god you guys like my nose started bubbling and like I felt like my brain was on fire like I just like snorted a line of like cocaine or something and my nostrils were burning and the back of my throat was all fizzy and like this was like months and months and months after I haven't like drank pop before so um that happened I was just like oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm dying I'm dying um so he's like what's wrong with you and I was like I don't drink pop like that right there and I just had a sip and it's burning my nose so basically it just like every time I have a sip of pop it just like it turns me off of it even more um, it doesn't like feel good going down like it usually did like a lot of people I had like those mini cans of coke that I used to take to school when I was little and I don't know it's just like I've lost my whole entire wanting to like drink it and it just I don't know um, Basically, if you are trying to cut pop out of your diet, I totally recommend what I did before. And if um, 
you have the space and the availability of keeping water bottles in your fridge or just like bottles filled with water like it doesn't have to be like plastic water bottles um try that or like um Gatorade or Powerade I know it's not the best for you and I don't really drink it I don't like it um because it was like when I was sick my mom used to try to drink make me drink it and I have this like memory of when I was sick drinking it and it's just like not a good time no it's not for me so basically um try doing that try drinking some water or you know orange juice or something something that'll actually hydrate you um if you're having a craving for pop instead of doing that like even have a glass of milk I know milk isn't supposed to like hydrate you and like quench your thirst but um sometimes the whole pop craving thing it's all in your head so that's what I recommend to do just like down a glass of water down a glass of milk down a glass of juice if you don't like water um, try flavored water you can get that Mio stuff or um, vitamin water is really good um, you know the Aquafina um, flavored waters and stuff like that um, if you don't like the taste of water although water doesn't really have a taste um, try flavored water but if you're having a craving to go and drink pop just drink something drink your flavored water drink your regular water just drink something else um, you're gonna find that you're not wanting it as much as you do if you're actually really really thirsty um and you down a glass of water and it quenches your thirst you're not going to want to have another can of pop or a bottle of pop or whatever so um try that and another thing that you can try um avoiding like pop and stuff if you live on your own obviously just don't buy it don't buy it and then you won't tempt yourself to want it um, if you don't live alone, like if you live with like your family or your brother drinks pop or whatever, um, but basically if you're trying to cut pop out of your diet, have your family aware of it if you live with your family. Um, if they stock up on cases and cases of soda in your fridge, they're obviously not helping you very much if they don't know that you're trying not to drink it. So do that and if you're still having some hard times like trying to overcome the urge and the craving to want to have a glass of pop or a can of pop bottle of pop whatever have a little bit go ahead have a little bit have half a glass of coke have half a glass of mountain dew just you don't want to you don't want to torture yourself but at the same time if you cut down the portions that you're having and like the more frequent that you're having it, um, it will eventually just not even register in your mind. Like I work at Dairy Queen. It's a fast food place. I don't drink pop. Pop's free. I drink water. Water. Ice water. So basically, um, that's what you want to do. If you work at like McDonald's or another fast food place, just don't tempt yourself. Like, oh yeah, pop's free. Have some water. There's always that little water button and it's way better for you than sugary beverages are. Like even carbonated water, like I don't like it. It's gross. I don't like the way it tastes. I don't like what it does to my body. It makes me feel sick. I don't like it. So that is my tips and tricks on how I cut pop out of my diet. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to either comment below or send me a message. I will answer any and all of your questions. Um, thumbs up this video if you want me to do like a diet routine, like fitness stuff. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.